It was very exciting witnessing this enormous change here at the Virginia General Assembly with a dozen new women being sworn into office and bringing with that diversity. The picture of the women in the front row said it all. More hugs than you could count as this day became reality. This is real now. You know, there's so many emotions together. Elizabeth Guzman, along with Hala Ayala, are the first two Latina women to be seated in the Virginia legislature. Ayala is too overcome with emotions to talk. Can you speak? <laughs> I do solemnly swear. See that woman in the purple dress? That's Danica Rome, the first transgender person in the Virginia legislature. On behalf of all the people of the 13th district, including the 12,077 people that gave me the blessing to be here, um, it's the honor of a lifetime. Don Adams from Richmond is the first lesbian in the legislature. It was fabulous. I really um, can't even articulate the history of the moment and just how amazing it was. She's in the front row with the Latina women and Jennifer Carol Foy, the first African-American representing Prince William County. They're all part of the Democratic wave of 15 newcomers in the House of Delegates. So what does all this mean? Republicans still have majorities in both the House and the Senate, but they only have a one vote majority in the House. So it means that issues that Democrats have been pushing for years may finally have a chance. Every single person in the House of Delegates now needs to be on notice that Medicaid expansion is one of the top priorities for people in Virginia. Number one, we wanted to improve public education. It has been neglected for so many years. In Richmond, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.